A very good morning to one and all present here. I am Dr. Anupama Tadepalli, Professor from Department of Periodontology, SRM Dental College, Ramapuram Campus, Chennai. Today, I am here to explain about sling suture and its application for uh, adaptation of connective tissue graft and collagen matrix onto the uh, root surface in mucogingival surgery. So, we will move on to the clinical scenario. So, if you see this scenario, you are having a tissue that is mimicking connective tissue graft. The pink color tissue, what we are having here, it mimics connective tissue grafts. And we are here, uh, we will be seeing the suturing. So, whenever you are doing on a single uh, tooth augmentation, you will be adapting the connective tissue graft onto the prepared root surface. Then we need to well stabilize this connective tissue graft for a better success. So, what we do is we will be taking the bite in the first interdental area and we will emerge onto the lingual side without any tissue bite. Then we will go to the next interproximal area and we will take the second tissue bite. So, you will be taking bites only on the facial aspect, especially from the connective tissue graft. And when you are emerging from the lingual side, make sure that there are no tissue bites on the lingual aspects. So, once you finish taking bites, both the interproximal areas, so you will come back to the uh, first interproximal area. So, you will encircle lingually again and you will come on to the first interdental area where you will place a knot. So, before placing knot, you see there is uh, enough tightness of the suture and the graft is well stabilized onto the prepared root surface. So, now we have emerged into the first interdental area where we started and we are, we are checking for any looseness. Then, we will be seeing the graft whether it is properly adapted or not. Then, we will be proceeding for not. So, whenever we are using this kind of suturing technique, preferably, we use resorbable suture material. Since the CTG or collagen biomaterials are mostly resorbable materials, it is preferable to use a resorbable suturing uh, material for this technique. So, this shows our adaptation of connective tissue graft onto the prepared root surface. So, once you finish off the knot process, you will be uh, trimming the excess uh, suture material, 2 to 3 millimeters will be adequate. And once you finish that, you will see the superficial flap, whether it is adequately covering your uh, either connective tissue or collagen tissue matrix. And we will proceed for the suturing of superficial flap. So, that is about connective tissue grafting. Then, we will move on to the next clinical scenario, where we will be having a... Uh, Collagen material, collagen matrix mimicking material and we will be seeing adaptation of this material onto the prepared root surface. So, most of the volume stable materials, they will be uh, rigid and you need to pre-soak the material for proper adaptation. So, in this case scenario, we will be adapting this collagen matrix onto the multiple teeth. So, if you see here, we are almost have four teeth sorry, three teeth we are adapting and four. we have like four interdental areas uh, for stabilizing of this material. So, if you see, again here also facial side only we are adapting. So, we will be taking only the facial bites. We will start from the interdental area one and we will encircle on to the lingual surface. Then we will emerge into the second interproximal area without any tissue bite. We will come out on the second interproximal area. Then we will take facial bite in the second interproximal area. So, during this suturing process, please try to adapt your material, stabilize the material using a periosteal elevator along with your help from your assistant. So, from the second interproximal area, you will be stabilizing and then you emerge onto the lingual side. Then you encircle again adjoining tooth. You finish off all the interproximal area facial bites. 
So if you see, we are coming into the third interproximal area. Once we come out, we will take a facial bite. So when you move on to one interproximal area to another interproximal area, make sure that the suture material, suture thread is tightly adapted. So you finish up all the interproximal areas like this till the last one. So once you finish the fourth uh, interproximal area, that is the last interproximal area, then what you will do is you will come back onto the lingual side and lingual side we are not going to take any bites. We will just pass the suture material interdentally and we will come back to the first interproximal area. So we will just pass the suture material interdentally encircling onto the lingual and facial aspects. So interproximally we are coming back and will be emerging onto the first interproximal area and once you come on to the first interproximal area, you will be placing the knot. So here also, preferably use a resorbable suture material. Once you finish the knot placement, then again the same procedure, you will be seeing the superficial flap, whether it is completely covering the biomaterial. This is how we finish uh, suturing of collagen matrix using continuous link. So either connective tissue graft or collagen biomaterial, once you finish suturing, the superficial flap has to be approximated onto that. So for that, either you can use independent sutures or you can use once again a sling suture. Here in this picture, I have showed you continuous sling once again, all the facial bites. Once you finish that, encircle and then lingually you come and interdentally you come and you come to the original place and first interproximal area and you place a knot. So whenever you do sling suture, continuous sling especially, uh, it is preferable or advisable to place a periodontal dressing. Why? Because there is a lot of suture material in the marginal gingiva, which we don't want uh, to attract the plaque or biofilm or food debris. So preferably protect that with the uh, periodontal dressing. And one more reason is, even in one interproximal area, if the suture thread becomes loose, the approximation of entire area, because this is a continuous sling suture, we have only one knot. So even one place, if the suture becomes loose, the integrity of the suturing from uh, across the multiple interdental area will be lost. So preferably protecting with a pedontal dressing makes sense. And uh, if you don't want this much suture material, uh, and you don't want to place a dressing, you, you can always opt for independent sling sutures where two to interdental areas will be using uh, for the suturing. So independent sling suture, once again, it will give the same benefits. It will provide the anchorage from the lingual aspect or facial aspect whenever you are doing the suture. So the advantage of sling suturing is you are having anchorage, anchorage from the opposing tooth surface so that the material or the flap will be better adapted onto the tooth surfaces. So this is about sling suture and its application in mucogingival surgery. Thank you for your time.